Our first guest spends her days designing websites that convert leads into sales. Veronica Kennedy is here to share the three critical components of a successful online strategy that gets your brand noticed while generating revenue. So we use the big R word, Veronica, revenue. And I know that's one of the biggest pain points for entrepreneurs to get their websites to actually make them money. It's usually an expense. So how do we make that happen? Right, so first let me thank you for having me on Women of Denver. I'm very excited to be here, Crystal. Yeah. And to make that website or that online marketing strategy an investment instead of an expense, which you can still write off on your taxes, it is the components that we really want to touch upon that often do get overlooked by small business and entrepreneurs are a clear call to action with your website functionality. We mm -hmm. tend to focus so much on the look and feel of our website, we really yeah. want to make sure that every part of that real estate is working for us and serving our customers. Absolutely. So what is the action step you want to take when your customers land on your website? Make it easy for them to engage with you and provide that value to differentiate yourself. Uh huh. So what is that value piece? What do you give them that makes them want to give their information up? An awesome piece of opt-in is something that they can really access right away. Something too laborious might be a big white paper. It can be more simple and fun. It can be an infographic. It can be a video, which is so powerful right now to convert. But something where people can really apply a simple tip. Don't make it too complicated. It's a free opt-in that they're willing to give their email address for, and it starts to warm up that relationship that gets expanded through your online presence. Nice. All right, what's your second tip? My second tip, often overlooked, is ranking. There are people right now looking for you and your services. Do you know how your website or your online presence, including your social media, who you are, you are your brand, if you are a service provider, how those things are showing up, you want to know. And if you take nothing else away from this interview, there's a low hanging fruit way to get started and it's with Google Analytics. You can literally set it up yourself without being a techie. If you can log on to email, you can have this on your website, start with the baseline so you know how it's performing and I do offer a free tutorial on that. All right, and so ranking is one of the things that I've struggled with because I've seen, I was around in the early days when AOL was still a thing. <laughs> you know, you, you got, got mail. mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and back then, getting a really solid ranking online started with having a whole bunch of keywords. And I knew people who actually made a lot of money by just having websites that had nothing else but a bunch of keywords on there, and then they would have ads. And I know that things have changed a lot. What is like one of the one keys that people can consider today, knowing that things have changed from that old spammy technique um, to kind of get their website to rank higher on um, so, uh, SEO, search mm -hmm. engine optimization? I'm so glad you, you, know, you, you asked that question, Crystal, mm -hmm. because so many are asking that question. And the reason people do nothing is because the steps they need to take aren't making sense to them. They don't understand what they're hiring for their website, why, or when it's going to produce. The most important thing when you're hiring any service is it's up to the customer service job of the consultant or the agency that it makes sense to you. What is going to be done? Why are we doing it? What are the results that you can expect to see? If the agency or the consultant has failed to provide that, don't be afraid to ask. You won't look stupid. It's part of empowering the revenue for your website and your business, and it's actually, you don't have to be a techie to understand it. So when you say what's the one thing that you can do, make sure that you understand the steps that are being taken because it is more complicated, not complicated, but there's more to it than just let's throw some keywords yeah. on your website and make sure that they rank. So when you are getting advised, understand the steps that are being taken as why. And I do want to answer your question, Crystal. Google now ranks for, it ranks for content. So mm -hmm. if you are producing content and your website is a sales brochure, uh. then you know, you are positioning yourself as a thought leader and differentiating yourself. So it does help to have a content strategy that caters to the best keywords in the industry where you are an expert. Okay, good advice. And did you have any other tips that you wanted to share? 
If you have any questions from this or how to get started, I do have free resources available on my website or feel welcome to contact me and just mention the Women of Denver for, and you won't, I won't charge you. Just <laughs> Okay, and great. Thanks for that deal. Um, all right, well, thank you so much, Veronica, for sharing those amazing tips. Really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Crystal. Thanks.